Hello class, today what we are going to make is a leaf texture rubbing. So what we're going to use today, we need our leaves. Some are real and some are fake. <clears throat> You're going to need several different colors of crayons that have been peeled. You're also going to be using watercolor when this is up by the end of this. So we'll talk about how to use watercolor, how to create a texture rubbing, and what texture actually is. Texture is the way something feels. And the way you feel something is with your fingers, your hands. You can touch the leaves and see what they feel like if they have bumps or lines. So the first thing you need to do is clear your paper, put your crowns to the side. Your leaves are all going to go on the table in a different area. Now you might just do one at a time or you could share with a friend. So make sure your leaves are on the table and you put your paper over the leaves and try to hold your paper down so that it doesn't move. So I can feel underneath here where the leaves are. So we are going to now take our crown. Now normally you'll hold your crowns like this with the points sticking out. But today what we're going to do is we're going to hold them flat. So you're going to have to hold them flat, maybe with one or two fingers or more. So I'm going to show you what happens when you hold your paper flat with one hand and you hold your crown flat on the paper with another one. So you just push down. Now you can start to see the leaf underneath there. So I know there's more leaves, so I'm going to switch colors and try to feel for the leaf under there. Try not to let those leaves move underneath your paper. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, right here. And let's see, there's some more. So now about half of my paper is done. Now what you want to do is you want to pick your paper up, rearrange the leaves so that they're under the other side of your paper. Keep moving those leaves around, pulling up your paper to check and see where they are. So now you're ready to do the texture rubbings on the other side of your paper. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this part and let you do this part. So that way now we can talk about watercolor. So when we're done with the crown rubbings, you're going to just put your leaves to the side. Put your paper back down in front of you. You're going to have a watercolor palette and you're going to share the watercolor palette with the person sitting next to you. Now you also have a water bucket and a paintbrush. This is a watercolor brush because the bristles are smooth. Now in this bucket is a side where you can rest your brush if you're not using it. And then there's also a side that has these little slots. You can hear them. Now when you have paint in your brush and it's time to change colors, you need to put your brush in this side and rub back and forth on those little ridges so that way it gets all the paint from the other color out. Now to start using watercolor, you need water on your brush of course. And I'm going to start with red. Now you have to put water in the paint. The way you do that is with your brush. You just pick up some water, put it in the paint, and then you stir it around. If the paint starts to get too soggy and it feels like peanut butter, then do not dig. Just barely put your brush in, circle it in there, and then you'll be fine. Then you're going to paint over these leaves, and you're going to notice that where we have the crowns on there, it will not stick to the crowns. So 
So I want to switch my colors to orange. So what do I have to do? Right, you have to rinse your brush off. Now I need to add my water, stirring it around. And you'll start to notice when you do this that the, the paint will not stick to the crowns. It'll just stick to the white of the paper. Now you're going to continue to do this until every leaf that you did on the paper has been colored in. When it's time to clean up, you're going to leave all the brushes in the bucket. Everybody's brush will go in the bucket when it's time to clean up. Then you will take your paper to the drying rack if it's really wet. And you're going to ha I'm going to pick your table leader to uh, take your bucket to the sink. They then will dump it out right there in the sink. Then they will rinse out the bucket. And then they will refill it halfway. And they'll put the brushes back in the side, standing up just like they were. Okay.